All right, let's go ahead and uh, generate some client code. Right. So you should have a working, uh, you should have a working backend. All right, everything here should be good. Uh, saved in a certain location. Uh, if you're doing this on Windows, uh, the best thing to do is just to navigate to that place. Uh, so um, let's navigate uh, to uh, our backends, where, wherever you have your stored. And again, you're looking for the place where app.yaml is, right? So this is probably inside one of your Eclipse workspaces or so on. Uh, if you're on Windows, uh, holding down Control and Shift and then right-clicking should give you the option of, of opening up a, a command line window uh, right there. So let's try this again. Um, open command window here. So that's what I'm going to do. Click that guy and it'll navigate me right there. And what I'm going to want to do is do uh, Python and then I'm going to need C colon. Remember, I need the location of this, uh, the endpoints config here. So it's going to be wherever, go your, um, wherever your Google App Engine folder is. So mine is in Program Files, x86, uh, Google, Google App Engine, and then it's going to be like endpoints config, get client lib Java, since we want it for Android. And then the name of the package, which was um, API, uh, or excuse me, the name of the module was API, and then we called it Grade Recorder API. Okay, and I'll go ahead and run this guy, and this should make me a zip file within here. Okay, we're done, and you got a zip. So go ahead and extract that to, to the folder. And inside here, uh, we had a couple of things. So we had a jar file. You remember the big long sources dot jar. We rename to dot zip. Uh, and then we can just extract it here. And that's gonna make a com folder. So again, this is com, ask, bot, com, the whole, the whole deal. And this has our model and it has the, the stuff for the service in it. All right, so that com, we're gonna copy that guy and then bring it over into our project inside the source folder, right click, and we get um, that showing up there. It's still complaining because of some libraries. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's see, so let's go back to our zip here, and we get some libs. Uh, we want to sort these by type, so we get these, and we want API client, API client Android, HTTP client, HTTP client Android, HTTP client JSON, OAuth client, and then just plain JSON, and this should be JSR, okay? So go ahead and grab those eight, copy them, back into Eclipse. Uh, we have a libs folder. It already has the support. Keep that in there. That's actually needed for, for Google Play services. Don't delete it. Uh, and go ahead and paste those guys in, uh, and it should be okay. Um, now, mine, mine is complaining about something else here. It, it seems to be continually um, complaining. <clears throat> excuse me, complaining about this. Um, let's see, I might have messed something up before. So I'm going to go back to my properties here. And I think technically I can I can get away with, I don't even need the Google um, APIs for my project itself. Let's try this. I think that's, I don't think it's going to complain anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll see what that does. Uh, certainly no more problems in the generated code, so that's good. Uh, I have plenty of problems in, in this thing. And the issue is, is that I have some imports here that, that are actually incorrect, right? So you'll notice that a lot of these imports are, are for the model. I'm gonna delete that guy. And then if I hit Control-Shift-O, um, it's gonna ask me, since it doesn't know what assignment is, which one do I want? Do I want the grade recorder assignment or do I want the model assignment? And typically in my code, I'm gonna be, it's, it's the model that I'm referring to. Um, not the service, right? So, so I'm going to click on that guy, and that'll import, and that'll fix those errors. So I'm just going to basically go one step at a time through these different uh, folders and, and fixing up what I, what I need. Uh, so going back up here, so I have some extra some some imports uh, that I that I do not need. So let's go ahead and, and blow those away. It looks like I have another grade recorder 2.r. Um, let's go ahead and blow that away as well. And let's hit Control Shift O. And let's see for assignments, we want the model. So that's good. Um, and that actually pulled in 
um, a few different things that actually pulled in. So the grid recorder itself, which was going to be for the service, and then out of out of the model, it pulled the assignment and the collection of assignments. All right. Let's go ahead and integrate entries and do something very similar here. All right, so. Um, We'll go ahead and, and import, and it's going to know which student. We want the model student, of course. And it did the same thing for the grade entry. All right, uh, and you get the idea, right? So we're, we're going through and just, just blowing away a lot of these guys. So let's see. Mm, go ahead and get rid of all these extra imports. Uh, grab from the model, from the model, save. Looks like one more issue here. Uh, so this is a student adapter, but there's, that's probably because there's still an error in student adapter. So I'll go and fix that one next. Uh, and re-import that guy. Um, and that's fixed, and of course that, that fixed the, uh, the other one. And grid entry view is the last one. Right. So looks like this guy has an extra R file here. And uh, that is it. Okay. Um, Let's see. Not quite sure what it's uh, what's going on here. Uh, if that's going to be a, a a major issue, it looks like it, it still is. So using 1.7, 1.7 of what? Okay. Uh, requires compiling with KitKat. I suppose I could try it. Uh, let's see. So so why not? So properties. Um, I can go up to to Android 4.4. Click OK. And it looks like yeah, it, it like that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm using 1.7 of. Uh, uh, maybe maybe something with Google Play services. Uh, maybe that's that's the version that it, that I pulled out of there. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run this guy, and we should be done, right? So uh, I think that's it for for this video. All right. We'll see you later for the next lesson.